Hello everyone. Now we are going to study about one of the most important circuits which we encounter in our daily lives. They are oscillators. Let's get on to the definition. An oscillator is a circuit whose output repeatedly and regularly fluctuates about the mean value. It also is an amplifier which generates its own input signal. Oscillator is a non-rotating device for producing AC current, the output frequency of which is determined by the characteristics of the device. Let's see the types of oscillators. Basically, there are two types of oscillators. Harmonic oscillator and relaxation oscillator. Harmonic oscillators produce sinusoidal output and relaxation oscillators produce non-sinusoidal os oscillations. The basic circuits of both are as shown below. A harmonic oscillator is an electronic amplifier connected in a positive feedback loop with its output fed back to its input through an LC tank circuit. Some of the harmonic oscillators are mentioned here like Hartley oscillator, Colpitz oscillator, clap, delay line, crystal, phase shift oscillator, RC oscillator and cross coupled LC oscillator. Now let's see the working of the oscillators. For a circuit to oscillate, we need to satisfy two conditions, which are the loop gain of an oscillator should be unity and the phase shift around the loop should be integral multiple of 2 pi or in other words, there should be positive feedback. These two conditions are collectively known as Barkhausen criteria. When we switch on the oscillators, it starts to amplify the random thermal noise generated in resistive elements. The output of the amplifier is fed to the tuned LC circuit which introduces phase shift into the feedback signal. The gain of the feedback signal varies with the input signal and there is only one frequency at which the closed loop satisfies both the Barkhausen criteria and finally settles down and starts oscillating at that particular frequency. An open loop gain equal to or slightly greater than 1 for oscillations to start but to continue oscillations the average loop gain must be unity. Oscillators work because they overcome the losses of their feedback resonator circuit either in the form of a capacitor, inductor or both in the same circuit by applying DC energy at the required frequency into this resonator tank circuit. One point to be noted here is that there can be many frequencies at which the phase shift introduced in the loop is integral multiple of 2 pi. But there is one and only one frequency at which the open loop gain of the system is unity. Now let's study some of the oscillators in detail. First let's take a Hartley oscillator. A Hartley oscillator consists of two inductors and a capacitor in feedback tank circuit. Sometimes a single center tap inductor is used which acts like two separate coils. Therefore, it's also referred as split inductance oscillator. It's used in where we require a fixed frequency output. The frequency of Hartley oscillator can be varied by varying the capacitor in the tank circuit. Hartley oscillators are extensively used in radio broadcasting and FM transmission due to good frequency stability. 
Next, let's see about Colpitt's oscillator. Colpitt's oscillator is the exact opposite of the Hartley oscillator which we looked in the previous slide. It consists of two capacitors and a single inductor. Thus, a Colpitt's oscillator used as a variable frequency oscillator performs best when a variable inductance is used for tuning. In practical circuits, the variable inductance is replaced by a parallel combination of an inductor and a variable capacitor to vary the output frequency. It has an advantage of improved frequency stability compared to Hartley oscillator. Next, we study about phase shift oscillator. The RC oscillator, which is also called as phase shift oscillator, produces a sine wave output signal using regenerative feedback from the resistor capacitor combination instead of LC tank circuit. It relies on the leading or lagging RC network, but the same network causes attenuation. Therefore, the amplifier has to overcome this attenuation in order to provide sustained oscillations. In a phase shift oscillator, each RC stage loads the previous RC network, due to which the phase shift introduced in all the RC stages will not be same as given in the figure. RC oscillators are capable stable and provide a well-shaped sine wave output with the frequency being proportional to 1 by RC and therefore a wider frequency range is possible when using a variable capacitor. However, RC oscillators are restricted to frequency applications because of their bandwidth limitations to produce the desired phase shift at high frequencies.